Good day everyone, this is Jason Santos and for today I will continue discussing Business Math Chapter 1, Part 2. Again, all of the things that will be discussed was gathered from the modules of Business Mathematics Quarter 1, Module 1 from DepEd's Grade 11 As illustrated in the previous meeting, a cake one is, is one of the best ways for us to show um, the importance of fraction. Dividing the pieces or parts of a whole into several members of the group. What's new with this module is the discussion of different types of decimals. So when we are confronted with a fraction, and then we would have to change it to a decimal, we will be given um, two types of answers, or we might end up with two types of answers. The first one would be a terminating decimal, and the second would be a repeating decimal. Um, according to Blumen, when a fraction is converted to a decimal, it will be one of the two forms. In order for us to change a fraction into a decimal, we have to divide the numerator by the denominator. So for example, if we want to change the fraction 3 over 8 into a decimal, we would have to divide 3 by 8. There is a long method on how you would compute this as shown in the module. However, if we would just key in 3 divided by 8 using our calculators or the computer, we would easily arrive at the answer 0 0.375. For this example, our answer is a terminating decimal because there is a definitive answer of 0 0.375 and if we would do it manually, there will be a certain point wherein you can no longer um, divide the given. For the second one, We have an example of a repeating uh, decimal. A mixed number can be changed to decimal by first changing it to an improper fraction. So uh, later on we will be showing you how to convert a mixed number to a decimal. Now for this um, example, the answer is a repeating decimal because um, if you would divide uh, 7 uh, by 11, you will get an answer of 0 0.636363 and that's up to infinity. Um, repeating decimal or a recurring decimal is a representation of a number whose digits are periodic and infinitely repeated. Thus, you will be uh, required to round off your answer to uh, dependent to the number of decimal points that is required for your um, given. Here is another example of um, a fraction which has an answer of a repeated decimal. So if we would uh, divide 1 by 6, our answer will be 0, uh, 0 0.16666 up to infinity. So in order for us to uh, round it off, we would just uh, round it off to two decimal points, 0 0.16, and then place a vinculum at the top of our uh, decimal area. A line is placed over um, the decimal numbers, which is called the vinculum. A vinculum it is a horizontal line drawn over a group of terms in a mathematical expression to indicate that there are to be operated on a single entity by the preceding or following operator. So the person or whoever uses the number or the answers would know that the um, this one is a repeated uh, decimal, a repeating decimal. Now for mixed fraction, in order for us to convert it into a regular or an improper fraction, all we have to do is multiply the denominator by the front number and then add it in the numerator. So for this case, we would multiply 5 by 4 and get 20 and then add 3 
So that gives us 23 and then we would retain the denominator of 5. So our um, conversion of a mixed fraction into an improper fraction ends up with 23 over 5. We can compute it manually or we could just uh, simply divide 23 divided by 5 and your answer will be 4.6. So to further elaborate, here are some examples of uh, fractions that we can convert into decimal points, decimal numbers. So 7 divided by 11 is 0 0.6363, so that is a repeating decimal, so we would round that off. And then 1 divided by 6 is 0 0.166, also a repeating decimal. We have a mixed fraction of 5 and 1 fourths that we can um, convert into a decimal of 5.25 simply by dividing the numerator by the denominator. And then, um, same goes for number 4. 2 divided by 3 is 0 0.67. And then for the, the fifth question, uh, you would have to um, convert it first into an improper fraction before you can answer it to 7.75. So there you have it. That wraps up the second part of our chapter 1. Uh, for detailed um, answers and solutions, feel free to uh, send me a message over at Facebook. And um, you can also send us a comment or a message here in YouTube so that we will be able to entertain such questions. With that, thank you so much for watching this video. And to God be all the glory. Bye.